Okay, so today we're working a lot with swell balls, but not every exercise. So let's go ahead and just roll our shoulders around. Oh, put on your watches if you have. All right, big shoulder rolls, just loosening up. Thank you guys for showing up this morning as opposed to yesterday morning. As I head out. Hi, good morning, Cindy. Three more. Let's pivot side to side, just rotating on the ball of the opposite foot and then throwing a nice little easy punch. So some of the work will be with lighter weights, some maybe with your traditional weights. Three more. Come back to center, take a big breath in, bring your arms down, squat into your legs, hands to your thighs, little pulses, and then straighten your legs. Let's do that again, pulse it down. Three, two, straighten up your legs, fold in half. Three, two, it feels good to move after sitting all day in chairs. Three, one, one more time right here. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Now straighten the legs, walk your hands not all the way out, just a little bit in front and then alternate heel presses. So it's like a really short and wide downward facing dog. Bend your knees, alternating heel presses to the floor. You've got four more. Three, two, and one. Good, walk the hands back in. Take your feet a little bit wider. Lunge over to your right leg, bend your right knee. Left hand to your right foot or ankle and twist open. Reach your fingers to the sky. Three, two, one, walk back through center, straighten the right leg, bend the left. Right hand on the foot or, or shin or ankle. Left arm to the sky if you can. Back to center. Good, hands in the center, turn your toes out. Bend your knees, place your hands on your thighs, do some cat cows here. Arch your back, round your back. Tuck the tailbone underneath you, four more. Three, two, Last one, roll all the way up. Good, just lunge side to side, roll your shoulders back and around, get a little bit of waistline movement, just shoulder rolls with a little torso rotation, or torso side to side. Three, two, one, come all the way back to center, big, big breathe in, breath in. Exhale, bring it down, all the way up in. And bring your hands to your heart, walk your heel toe in together. All right, gang, take your small ball, place it in between your legs. Choose to use weights or no weights for this exercise. It's just a squat. Um, if you don't have a ball, don't want a ball, you don't need it. <clears throat> if you want to put a band around your legs, you can do both, actually, if you should cho so choose. I'm going to start out. We're going to be doing 12 reps. We're going to squat, and then we're going to hold it for a pulse. So that's our first set. Everybody up? I are Three, two. One. So squat, get your weight back into your heels. Take your time going down and up. Two, three. Every time you come up, squeeze that ball even tighter between your legs. Four, five. When we hit 12, we stay down. Six, seven, eight. I want you to take the full, like, slow count that I'm doing. Nine, to get yourself into that beautiful squat. 10, two more, remember we stay down on the last one. So stay down on this one here, and pulse. Now as you're pulsing, squeeze your legs together. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. 10, come up. Good, shake it out for a second. Go ahead and pick up the weights you'd like to use today for bent over rows. We're gonna keep the ball between the legs. So light, um, light, medium, or heavy weights for you. We've got 12 alternating rows, 12 sets. So that's 24 rows. The ball is all the way up in between your thighs. Bend your knees. <laughs> Was that Cindy? All right, bend your knees. Fold your body in half. Gotcha. Right arm, left arm rows, three, two, one, go. One. Two, squeeze the ball. Every time the ball is between your legs, it's an opportunity to engage a little bit more. Four, five, whoa, six, that's it, nice guys. Seven, you can let the um, weight rest on your thighs. Eight, when it comes down. Four more, three, 
two more. One more. Stand up. Good, you can continue to hold on to the weights. Oh, kissy kissy. All right, continue to hold on to the weights or get rid of your weights for your second set of squats. 12 up and down and then 12 pulses. Everybody ready in four, three, two, go. One, we're still going slow. Two, you can have your weights at your thighs, by your side, at your shoulders, over your head. Three, four. Remember, if you're not doing full squats, that's okay. Just get some of that hip mobility. Five, six, seven, eight, four more, and then you hold the last one down. Three, two more. Good, this is the one we hold. One, hold, and pulse. One, two, three, four, chest up. Five, six, seven, eight, four more. Four, three, and come all the way up. Feel free to take the ball out, put your weights down, or we've got a third set of, um, I'm sorry, we have our alternating uh, rows. Line about the third set, we're still on the second. All right, bend your knees slightly, squeeze that ball in between your thighs, down, three, two, go. Right arm, left arm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, last one. Good, now you can take your short little break. Shake out your legs, get some water, wipe down. You have about 10 seconds, that's all. So go back to putting that ball between your thighs. Squeeze it nice and strong. If your ball starts like losing air, you should have that little straw that came with it. Um, if you don't, I might have some extras, let me know. At home, you'll have to, you're gonna have to kind of figure that out, I guess. Get your, get a, try a regular straw, try a, a ball, you know, a tire pump. All right, feet or hips width apart. Last set of squats. We go in four, in three, two, down and up, go. One, two, down, drive through your heels, that's it. Squeeze your glutes. Two, so you're bending hips and knees. Three, but you're driving through your heels. Four, it's all up to you if you hold the weights and where you hold them. Five, Drive through the heels. Six. Keep going. Seven. Eight. So the ball keeps you from letting your knees wobble inward. Nine, but it also activates a lot of muscle. Ten. Two more. Last one we hold down. Stay down and pulse. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Oh no, four more. Three, two, one, and up. Keep the ball there, keep your weights in your hands if you have them, get them if you don't. Bent over rows, three, two, go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four more, three, two, and one more, and come on up. All right, put your weights down for now. Grab your ball and put on your thinking caps for a second. You gotta just pay a little attention. Michelle, this may be familiar to you. 
anybody who used to maybe do my cardio kettlebell classes, we've done this with a kettlebell. It's a lot easier with a small ball that's very soft and squishy. So we're gonna take our right foot forward. We're gonna bring the ball underneath the, the leg, come back in, left foot forward, come underneath. So it's going from outside, what did I do, inside to outside of the leg, okay? Um, I actually used to do it a little different, but we'll just do it with front lunges. So we're gonna do 24 lunges, bringing the ball underneath the leg. Um, if you're not lunging, you can still work at getting that ball in between the legs, all right? So, right leg is forward first, four, 24 of these, three, two, alternating legs. Both knees bend, one, two. Now listen to what we're doing when we finish up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, good, you're halfway through. 12 more, alternating legs. Two, three, four. So if you were to use a weight or a um, kettlebell, six, seven, you see how much room you need to go here. Nine, 10, two more. Now, take the right leg out in front of you Step it forward, take the ball in between your forearms um, or between your hands or your upper arms. Bring the arms into prayer, bend the back knee, bend the front knee, little pulses here. Arms and legs come up and down. Squeeze the ball between your forearms, your hands, or your, uh, your triceps. Three, four, five, six, seven. Both knees bend. Eight, if you're not using your legs, use those arms. Two more, stay down, pulse. Squeeze the arms together, two, three, four, five, just like we did earlier with the legs. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Come up, shake it out, readjust yourselves, left leg forward, right leg back, shoulders, hips forward. Ball between your forearms, hands, or shoulder, or you know, triceps. Same thing on the other side. Three, two, go. One, two. So as you're bringing the arms down, you're squeezing the ball. Four, five, six. Drive into the front heel. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We hold on. Twelve, eleven. Stay down, pulse for 12. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, two, one. Shake it out, roll your shoulders. So, kind of like a little isometric move there. We're gonna repeat that. All right? Um, but first, put your ball down for a second. Put it in a safe place. Pick up weights. We're going to do a bicep curl squat, side curl, knee lift. Don't think about it too much. We're only gonna do 12 of these right now. So alternating for 12. All right, first set. Three, two, bicep curls. Curl, lift, other side. Curl, this is two, lift. Three, if you're not squatting, you know what you're doing. You can go on your toes. Four, five, up, six. You can use light weights as well. Seven, open the arms out. Eight, so when you do that knee lift, your arms are to the side. Nine. Ten. Oops, eleven, sorry. Twelve. Let's take a break here for a second. All right. So I may have screwed you up. So squat curl, curl knee lift. Squat curl, curl knee lift. Get your ball 
clear your space so you can go for your alternating front lunges. We got 24 of them. Ball goes inside the leg to like a figure eight. Three, right leg first, two, one, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, bend both knees, 10, one, 11, 12 more, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, almost there, five, four, we bring the right foot out after this, three, two, one, now bring your right foot out, put the ball between your forearms, hands or shoulders, go, 10, 12, 11, 10, nine, squeeze the ball close between your arms, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stay down on one, pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three more, two more, keep the ball where it is, switch legs, right leg forward, left leg back, down and up one, two, three, arms come down and up, four, squeeze the ball, five, six, shoulders should feel it, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, stay down on this one, pulse, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and rest, shake it out. Whew, put the ball down. Go back to your bicep curl weights. We have 12 of them all together. It's actually 24 of the biceps while we have 12 leg movements. All right, ready? Three, two, one, squat. Squat, bicep curl, knee up. Down, two, up, knee up. Three, don't, just do as I say, not as I do. Four, ah, <laughs> five, open the arms, six, yeah, habits, seven, curl, knee up, eight, curl, knee up, nine, remember the arms are open to the side as the knee comes up. Three more. Three, two, and one more. All right, good. Good enough. Good enough. I screwed you up a little bit. I want you to do what you gotta do. All right, last small ball lunge. Inside leg, you go inside the leg, not from the outside. All right, we go in four, three, two, right leg first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, you don't have to bend your knees to make this work. Seven, you can just step forward. Nine, 10, 11, 12 again, 12. You know, in my bar class, if you drop the ball, you had to do a lot of push-ups, so try not to do that. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more, one more. Take the right leg out, place the ball in between your hands, forearms or upper arms, go. 12, 11, 10, really squeeze it guys. Nine, if you're squeezing it, you're feeling it. Eight in your shoulders and your core, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, stay down. Pulse 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and switch. Keep the arms as they are. Right leg back, left leg forward, three, two, go. 12, 11, 10, nine, squeeze it, squeeze it, eight, whoops, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stay down, and 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. Good, shake it out, put your ball down. Put it in a secure place. Pick up your bicep curl weights. I'll try not to mess you up today, on this one I should say. All right, just 12, 24 arms. Three, two, go, squat. Squat, curl, knee lift, open, curl. Down, curl, knee lift, open, curl. You can have your knee lift open too. Three, so it could be out here. Four, five, six, halfway there, seven, knee could be front or side, eight, nine, ten, two more, curl, one more, and that's it. All right, put a little shake off. All right, put your ball, we'll get some water. Grab your ball. Maybe lighter weights only so you feel balanced. Put the ball behind your right knee. You don't have to do it right now, I'll explain it. You're gonna be balancing though, okay? So there's a good chance you might have to hold on to something at any given time. So stay near something close, all right? So we're gonna do a single leg day lift and an overhead press with the ball behind our knee. Now, if the arms, adding the arms is too much, hold on to something. You can try it with the arms again. The standing leg, by the way, is not locked. It's still bent, okay? So it stays bent maybe till you come upright. And if you can't do the arms, try the legs. If you can't do the legs and the arms, play with it, all right? I'm gonna lighten up my weight a little bit for this one because I feel really imbalanced today. It's the same leg bent and the same arm holding the weight, all right? Right arm, three, two, here we go. One, doesn't matter how low you go, two, so it's a deadlift halfway down. Three, or all the way down, I should say, but it's a deadlift half of the exercise. Four, five. If you have to, you take the ball out and you put your foot on the floor. Six, or you hold on. Seven, take your time. Eight, nine, Woo! 10, you gotta do as I say, not as I do. 11, 12, good. Make sure your standing leg is bent as much as you can. All right, grab that weight behind your back le your left leg. Left hand holds the weight, hold on if you need to. This is my B side, so for sure I gotta start holding on. Three, two, my right leg is gonna be bent. One, go, 12 up, 11. Now, when I'm not holding on, I may not go as low. My balance may not be totally there. Four, five, woo, six, seven. 
Just try to keep the ball in between your leg and even if you don't do the deadlift. Eight, right behind your hamstring and your calf. Even if you just stand there like this. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Woo! Push ups for me. All right. We're just gonna go back and forth on this one. All right, so if you're not doing the deadlift, I'd like you to try at least to activate your hamstrings by putting the ball behind the right knee now. All right, so curl it in tight. Right hand holds the weight. Left hand might be holding on to something, a wall, a chair, just not, the, not something that can fall over quickly. Three, two, go. One, two, three, four, notice one side to the other, five, six, my standing leg is bent as I go into the hinge, seven, eight, it may never straighten, nine, three more, three, clearly my better side, two, which is why I have to work on the other side. One and one. All right. So most of us have a side A and a side B, right? And we know it right off the bat. This is my side B. Left hand weight, left, hand, left leg with the ball. Three, two, bend the right leg, go. One, up, two, three, four, five. Just find a steady point to gaze at. Six, sitting in the gym, in the garage. Seven, eight, nine, last three, three, woo, oops, two, Yep, one more. This is my definite B side. And one. It happens, guys. It happens to the worst and the best of us. What's that? Ugh, time to make the cookies. All right, see you Monday. <laughs> All right, ball behind the right leg. Squeeze. Right hand holds weight. Final set. Three, two, go. Deadlift, overhead one, two, three, four, five. So both hamstrings are gonna get this. Six, core, shoulders, eight, quads, nine, if that leg is bent, 10, Two more. One more. Ooh. Switching sides. Last one, then we go to the floor. Ball behind the knee. Oops, I'm just dropping everything. Three, two, left side, go. One, two. So I start with a really light touch. Three, till I feel balanced. Four, and I'll probably go Shorter range of motion on my deadlift, five for balance, six, seven. If you feel imbalanced, you just hold on again. Eight, four, three, two, last one. Oh, good work, guys. All right. Grab your mats, get some weights, take it onto your floor. Let's make sure we have the mat in the right position for you guys. All right, we've got a ball. You'll probably want some lighter weights nearby as well. All right, so you can put your towel down on the mat. We're gonna put the ball 
first behind the back. Now, if for anybody, you know, this is just not great for your back, go to your back, put the ball between your knees, and do the crunches on your back. Otherwise, the ball is at the small of your back. Uh, those of you who know me know I call like putting all your body weight into the ball and smushing it to pancaking it. Don't pancake. So have it touch your back and then just lean ever so slightly back so you feel the tension in your center. Hands across your chest. Lift your torso up. Crunch for 12. Go. One. Two. Now look at my body. I'm not going a really big range of motion. Four. Get it close. Yeah. That's it. Five. Keep your chest open. Six. Seven. We're going to run through three different versions, one after the other. Ten. Now keep crunching. Don't change how far you're going. Put your hands by your temples. And again, if that's too much, then go back to crossing your chest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, so I'm gonna give you two, another set, one more. Now, arms up by your ears. This may be more challenging for you, so please just modify where you need to be. Four, five, by six. That strange man always walks toward the music movie. Eight, nine, 10, now listen, 11, we're gonna keep the arms wherever you need them and go side to side, one. So you could be here, you could be here, three, four, you could be here, five, six, or in front, seven, but move to your side, eight. So figure out where you need to bring your hands, 10, 11, and 12. Come back up to sitting. Just remove the ball for a second and round your back. Bring your chin to your chest. Think of like a big cat stretch. Pull the belly all the way into your spine and then sit back up. So again, if this is too much for your back for any reason, lay on the floor and put the ball between your knees. Otherwise, put it back behind your back. Small range of motion. Hands start across. You can also, by the way, have your hands under your thighs to help you with a little bit of a pull. I should have said that earlier. All right, hands across your chest. Otherwise, three, two, go. 12, 11, 10, pull that belly in, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four. My range of motion is pretty small. Five, three, and one. Hands by your temples. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. There should be a lot of tension in your center. Four. Three, two, one. Change the arms if you'd like. 12, 11. If you need to, here is fine. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now, any arms side to side for 12. I like it here. Two, I reach my arms to the outside of my legs. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, three, two, one. Fold over, take the ball out, round your spine. Ooh, feel that? Anybody feel that? Okay, good. Because you get to feel it one more time. All right, last time, ball behind your back. Sit up tall, lean back, but don't put your weight into the ball. So, yeah, put it all the way close, Jeff. Yeah. Hands across your chest, first one, or underneath your thighs if you need to. Three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Change your arms. Twelve, eleven, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
Arms up by your ears. You don't have to do this. Two. You can have them anywhere you want. Four, five, six, seven, even back here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Last set of twists. Go. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. Come up and fold. Ooh, yeah. All right, put the ball between your knees. Take your feet out in front of you. Um, you don't really need an a, a, a weight at this moment. But you know what? Grab your light set of weights and have it nearby. Put one on each side. All right, let's roll down to the floor, nice and slow, all the way down. Come onto your back. All right, we're gonna start with just a traditional bridge. Reach your hands to your heels. The ball is between your knees. Tuck your tailbone under. Pull your belly into your spine, ribs to your hips. And you're gonna lift your hips up on the floor and you're gonna bend your knees and squeeze the ball between your knees, all right? So come all the way down, just a really traditional bridge. Ready? Arms, I like the arms right up in the air. If you feel like having a heavy weight, that's feel free to do that. Otherwise, just keep the arms up just to kind of remind you of where you are in space. Tilt the pelvis, three, two, go. Lift up and squeeze, one. Articulate down, two. Squeeze it up, articulate down, three, four. So your upper mid-lower goes down, your lower mid-upper comes back up, five. Six. Now remember what we did with our arms with the ball? It's the same thing with the legs here. Eight. Right? So every time you come up, you squeeze a little tighter. Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. Stay up for twelve. Hold it here. Squeeze a little closer. Lift your hips a little higher. Squeeze a little closer. Lift a little higher for three, two, three and one, roll down. Now, you're gonna take this ball underneath your feet. The wider your legs are, the more support you'll, or the more balanced you'll feel. This time, arms are on the floor, and then when you get up, if you find that you can lift your elbows, or your arms, or maybe even one arm at a time. We're gonna do a bridge again. This time, we don't have the ball between our knees unless you have two balls. All right, we're gonna lift up, and it's gonna get a little more hamstring activation. Three, Two, go. One. So right now my arms are like toy soldiers. Two, three. Should be a slightly different sensation where you're feeling this. Five. Now some of you will be able to lift one or maybe two arms off the floor. Seven, eight. And then notice how that changes the exercise. Nine, 10, two more. Last one, hold it up. Hold it, little higher, squeeze it. Little higher, notice the shaking. Little higher, and then articulate down. Good, hug your knees to your chest. Take a short little break here. And take a little spinal twist. You know, you guys who know me know I like to twist and do a bridge. And then we go back to the next exercise, or the first exercise. This time, take your weights in your hands, your light weights. As your arms, as your hips come up, one arm's gonna go back, and then we come down, and then the other arm is going back. So this is a little bit more about stability than weight and everything, all right? So put on your little um, thinking hats, hips up, right arm goes down. One, and up, right over the shoulder. Two, and right over the head. Now keep the articulation in your spine, three. Now you may say this is really easy, no problem, right? So we'll try it again with our ball under our feet, halfway. Six, five, four, three, two, And one, good. Put the ball now back underneath your feet. 
Some of you will be able to do this with the arms working, and some of you will just have to keep your arms down by your side. All right, legs are out in front of you. The wider your feet are on the ball, the more balanced you are. Three, hips up, two. Good, now, right arm and hips down if you're doing the arms. Two, or maybe you do a couple without arms. Three. Four, it doesn't matter which direction you go. So the hips could be up when the arm goes back or the hips can be down. Six, it's just really, you know, how you got on the rhythm. Seven. Eight, nine, this should be a little bit more challenging. Two more, perhaps a lot more challenging. And then come on down. All right, hug your knees into a little twist. All right, last time, ball between the knees. Squeeze the ball nice and tight. Every time you come up, the ball squeezes tighter. Arms are up over your shoulders. Ready? Three, two, go. Hips up, arm back, and down. Two, remember you can go in either direction with the arms when the hips are up or down. Your choice, or maybe it's just the choice, you know, the common way that it works for me. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. Last one. And come on down. All right. Take the ball underneath your feet. All right. Let's try it this way, because I think this is a little bit more challenging. When the hips are up, the arm goes back. When the hips are down, the arm comes in. Just try it. Right leg first, or right side first. Three, two, one, go. One. Two. Three. If it's too challenging, just do what you gotta do. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, four. Your hamstring should be happy tomorrow. Three or not. Two more. One more. And down. Put the weights down. Have a seat up for a second. Straddle your legs. Ah, hi hamstrings. Straddle your legs, not into a big straddle. Take the ball in between your legs and roll it forward. Keep your spine long. Keep your spine long. Walk the ball out as far as you can when those hamstrings are just saying, ugh, thanks a lot. And then pull the ball in as you round your spine back. Stretch the arms out, long spine. Exhale, cat spine, round it. Three more. Extend out, round in, two more. Good, maybe you can go deeper each time. One more, pull it in, and all the way out, good. All right, lift up, sit up. Take the ball underneath the right side of your waist. That's gonna keep you lifted, no pancaking, right? No weight on the ball. It's just a reminder not to collapse. Do not collapse between your ears and the shoulder blades. Top arm, you can have a weight, or if it's really light, you can have two weights. Top leg and hip, hip knee, knee ankle in the same line. Don't turn your knee up to the ceiling or to the sky, all right? Hold one or two or no weights in your hands. Side crunch here, go. 12, 11, 10, 9, there's going to be somebody walking through my screen again, 8, 7, I apologize, 6, I forgot what day it was, 4, 3, 2, one more, and bring it in on the other side, 
So you can turn right over. I'm just going to turn so my face is still to the cameras. I don't know why. But shoulder hit me ankle, top arm, top leg. Three, two, go. Twelve, eleven. Don't turn your knee to the sky. So don't turn your knee towards your camera. Four, yes, five, six, seven, eight, four, three, two more, one more. Good. Slim, you gotta come here. through here. Hold on, you guys. Yeah, I forgot, sorry. Introduce yourself to my YouTubers. Come on in. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, I'm <laughs> It's okay, it's okay, I got it, I got it, wait, I got wait, it, wait. don't worry. Wait a minute. She's now Insta-famous. Be careful. Sorry. All right, I'm so sorry, I forgot all about this. It's Thursday, it's not Wednesday. All right, ball between your legs into that little straddle. Just five little forward stretches. I really feel my hamstrings, by the way, guys. All right, walk the ball out with a flat back. Then round yourself in. So these are just cacaos, two. And round it in. Three. Four. And five. Good, all right. Let's go back to the right side, left hip. So, knee doesn't turn up, it stays side, so we're working more to the outer hip. Three, two, better than ever. Here we go. 12, 11, get that side punch. 10, nine, don't turn the knee to the ceiling. Turn it towards your camera. Eight, seven, aha, uh -huh. so you're working your outer hip. Six, five, four, three, two, you should feel this for the outer hip. If you rotate your knee up, you might feel it in different places. Other side. All right, put the ball right under your waistline. Arm up, three, two, one, go. Remember, knee points towards your camera. So we're gonna get into our outer hip. Yeah, that's good, four, five. It's a side crunch, six, Seven, eight, nine, three more, two, one more time, one, good, put the weights down, just straddle your legs, I'll do it this way this time, it's not a huge straddle, but man, I do feel my hamstring, my right hamstring in particular, walk it out, walk it out, five of these rollouts, roll it in, four, Roll it in. Three. Roll it in. Two. Roll it in. One more time. And roll it in. Okay, last time. Let's do it. Let's rock this boat. Shoulder hit knee, ankle. Arms up. Side punch. Three, two, go. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine, there you go. Try to reach your elbow outside your hip. Seven, six, some of you do some kickboxing, five, you know, like those side knees, four. Really great waistline work here, three, outer hip as well, two, and one more. Good, on to the other side. This is the last time. I have a lot of clients that tell me with the small ball, they just like to sit in front of the TV and watch with it behind their back, so they really feel like it's, it's really a great release to them. Top leg, three, two, one, go. 12, 11. So you don't have to just use it when you're in class, eight. Try to lift off the ball, seven, so you're not collapsing into ball, six, so your body is responsible for itself. Five, four, Three, one more, and one. Awesome job, guys. Okay, we're almost done. 
Off. On your back. I got one more little trick for you. Put the ball between your knees. Watch me for a second, so I hope you can all see. Your ball is between your knees. That's just the start. You're going to take your left elbow and rock the ball outside your right leg. It does not need to go back between the knees. As you come up, you switch arms so the ball comes out to the other side. Okay? So a little oblique work. Put the ball between your knees to start. It does not need to go back between your knees unless you lose it. All right? We're going to do 24 of those um, pretty quick, you know, side to side. All right? Knees ideally are over your hips and your ankles are in line with your knees, ideally. All right? So ball starts there. So your head and shoulders have to come up. Your upper body has to work a little in this to go. Three, two, go. So one, over, one. Two, three, four. Resist the temptation of the legs coming closer to the chest. Six, seven, eight. Try to move the ball side to side, Joe. Nine, so the elbow moves the ball. 10, 11, 12. Anybody get that? I didn't see the ball going anywhere. <laughs> so I'll do it from a sitting position for a second. Here's my start off point. I'm rolling the ball from side to side. I'm rolling the ball from side to side, yeah? Let's try it again. On your back, legs up. So, if the legs are too far, then go ahead and bring them a little closer. Ideally, I'd love your legs, you know, right over your hips. All right, now, start with the ball between your legs. Take your left elbow, reach up to the ball, and move it with your elbow to the outside of the right knee. Back through center, outside of the left knee. Let's keep going. Two. There you go. Three. That's it, that's it. Four. Five, I only can see Joe now. Six. There you go. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12. Good, take a short break. This is your last exercise. Then you get the ah moment with the ball. This is a great way for you to use your ball at home during the week. All right, last time. Woo, really, my hamstring is just really screaming at me for some reason. All right, knees over hips, three, two, Left arm first, go. One, over, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Hang on, come on. Four more. Three more. Two. Last one, guys. One. Ah. Hug your knees in. Awesome job, guys. Put your feet on the floor. Lift your hips up and put the ball under the small of your back. Let your body weight now rest on the ball. Take one leg in the air, doesn't matter which one. Am I screaming hands through me? Right. And then brace yourself so the other leg can join it. Good, now again, now my body weight is kind of sinking into the ball. I'm just letting gravity assist me downward, all right? So I just want you to keep your legs up there for a second, just loosen it up. And then take your right knee to your chest, Extend your left leg all the way out. And if you can hold on to your leg, 
draw the knee into the chest. A little bit more on the outside of your waistline. So your left leg, long stretch in the front hip flexors. And then go ahead and straighten the leg again to whatever degree you can. Don't force it. Flex and point the foot, roll the ankle in both directions. Bend the knee. Bring both knees to your chest. Straighten your right leg out on the floor. Hold the left leg underneath and bring it to the outside of the ribs. And then slowly extend the leg. Flex and point through the ankle. Roll the ankle in both directions. And bring both the knee back into the chest. Now stretch both legs out straight and take both arms over your head. And get your ball to the point where you're, you're pretty arched, but maybe the ball fills in that space a little bit. So your hip flexors get a nice release. And just relax the upper body as well. Three. Two more. And one, good. Bend your knees slowly. Lift your hips up off the ball. Come up to sitting, roll onto your side to get there. Bend your right knee in, left leg behind you. Right hand on the ball, lift up and over to the right side to stretch the side waist. Make sure your bottom side is not collapsed, so you're just still lifted, kind of like when we had the ball underneath us. And then release it to the other side, take the ball with you. Come back up and just switch the legs. Left leg in, or unless that's the leg you did, right leg behind you. Fingertips on the ball, light, and just lift up and over, stretch. Good, come back, other right arm down, left arm up with the ball if you have it. Come back to center. Good, just turn yourself around, go to your hands and knees, do a little cat-cow. One more time, stretch out the front of your abdomen, stretch out the back of the body. And then tuck your toes for downward facing dog. Walk your dog, right side, left side. And then bend your knees and walk your hands and feet towards each other, standing in a standing forward bend. If your ball is nearby, feel free to grab it and hold on to it if you need it. Tuck the chin to the chest as you roll slowly up through your spine. Bring the arms all the way overhead. Inhale, stretch the arms all the way to the sky. Exhale, release the arms behind the back. Knuckles together, palms together, knuckles down. Lift your chest and fold all the way over. Soft knees. Yeah, fill those hammies. And then let the arms just dangle one more time. Slowly chin to chest as you roll up. Roll the shoulders back and around. Time to do it again tomorrow. Everybody at home, stay home, stay fit, stay healthy. Get vaccinated.